ただいた時はもうこの今回出演されるっていうのを見たことがあるんですが、本当に本音でした。アメリカでの、まあ、ライブ自体は初めてではないので、この仕事の話をいただいて。So, this time they'll be part of like a band, and so it'll be much more energetic. So, she's really looking forward to that. What, what was the, was there any sort of the creative process that was different with the whole any song book and some kind of collaboration that was different than the normal creative process? They don't want to like really <laughs> give anything away, okay. so they don't really want to <laughs> say. <laughs> so, when you were first getting into the uh, singing and uh, voice acting industry, who were your role models or influences? For her, it was um, somebody named Hillian Principal, and um, and then so there's like an anime also called Candy Candy, as well as like a lot of the Maho um, Shoujo anime that really influenced her a lot. Sailor Moon was a she really likes the Moon, and so when she was young, she would actually listen to Yoko San's CDs a lot. Um, so, another person who did a lot of Eden songs was Kuki Masami. Have you also performed in Las Vegas at Fest in 2016? Could you tell me maybe what you find to be different about being in a city like Las Vegas compared to a city like Las Vegas? When she was in Las Vegas, she basically felt like when you look at it, it's just like an entertainment area. And it kind of feels like there's no day to day life there. Like it's like kind of like a dreamland. So, um, growing up, did you guys always know you wanted to be voice actresses and singers, or was this a dream you realized later on? So she always loved singing, but she never thought that she would, or she never had the dream to be a singer. She just so happened to enter in an audition for anime song, and she happened to win the Grand Prix. So she feels like it was kind of like this, it was kind of calling her to do it, and so that's where she started. For she didn't think about wanting to be a seiyu until she was in high school, but what happened was while she was a seiyu, she also got the chance to um, do music, and that's kind of what shifted her into the time. Um, did it ever occur, to, or uh, did it ever strike Ishida-san if she would ever uh, write a piece for such a legendary series such as Sailor Moon? It was her debut song, the Sailor Moon song, and so actually when they had told her that would be her debut song, she didn't know that how popular Sailor Moon was until after it had already been released. So she was really happy that it happens. She was really surprised. So you mentioned that this wasn't your first performance in America. So when it was your first time, did you expect the kind of uh, response from the audience considering it was an international? 
の2002年のアニメエキスポが初めてのアメリカでのステージだったんですけど、あの当時あのパラパラアニソンとパラパラの時代だったんですけど、パラパラの時代だったんですけど、パラパラの時代だったんですけど、パラパラの時代だったんですけど、パラパラの時代だったんですけど、パラパラの時代だったんですけど、When you were first getting into this industry,、uh, how did your parents and、uh, friends react to you,、uh, you know, becoming a voice actor? Her,、um, because she's from、uh, the Niigata Prefecture, it's kind of like a really countryside place. So when you say that you want to do something like this, it's kind of hard. When she actually was able to debut with Sailor Moon, everyone was really surprised and they like couldn't believe it. But in a good way, because they were still happy for her. The first、um, anime was Kimika and the Moyen, so I guess the. I'm not sure about the English title, but I guess it's like the forever that you wish for.、Um, and so when it actually came on TV, like, her parents were really happy about it. And when her CDs were selling, they actually went into the stores to see them being sold. After you voice act for a series, are you excited to see your voice match with the animation and see if, like, do you watch the anime that you voice act for? She does.、Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any like, advice you might have given yourself when you first started out? Like, what you mistakes you might have made that you now would know how to get kind of better? Or like, people that are interested in this kind of field, like, getting into it? <laughs> If it were her, she would want to tell herself that she should、um, communicate better with the people who are around her. So she's only been a singer just once, so she doesn't really have any advice. <laughs> so、uh, obviously, to be in this industry, your voice is your instrument. So、uh, do you have any tips to take care of your voice? Being sick or like getting cold or having like broken pain is really bad. Like just not even just for her work, but just in general. So what she does is every morning she'll wake up and she'll do like protein. And she doesn't have anything that she particularly does. <laughs> I have a bit of a two、uh, side question or two point question. If they could collaborate with any of the artists that they're performing with or like do a future collaboration of anyone that's currently performing here, who would it be? Also, if they could also play against or like in the format like、uh, Flow and Old Codex, if they could play against one another or another artist, who would it be? Done a previous collaboration、uh, with Jam Project before, and for them, if they could do it again, they got the same. Eh, battle. So, they're not really good at this battle thing, so what they would prefer is for everyone to just be friends and <laughs> perform together. If you had one message to give your fans here at Anime Expo,、uh, what would that be? This is her fourth Anime Expo, and 
what she really wants is to be able to see everybody again, and especially for tomorrow's live for it to get really heated and exciting. Live, there's going to be so many people, but for her, she wants to be able to convey her feelings to each and every person tomorrow.